Hi, I'm Ron Tanner with houselove.org and today we're looking at the finished camper van. If you recall from our earlier videos, this was a cargo van. It's a 2006 Sprinter Mercedes. It was windowless and it was used for hauling cargo and now it's a little home on wheels and we've converted it in every way possible and the big challenge here was to get everything we could into this very small space this is a 118 wheelbase Mercedes does not make these anymore they now make a 144 wheelbase so this is extra small this is no longer and no wider than a standard station wagon so let's take a look at what we got This is the refrigerator. It's a very big one because we like a lot of fresh food. And it makes a good bench seat so when we're working here at the kitchen. Kitchen, this is our full size sink. Notice we have stainless steel here. This was uh, fabricated by Dave Barrett of Plasma Tech did a great job. Full-size sink is important because I want to be able to wash my hair in this thing. So lots of water pressure, that's especially important for your sprayer. The water heater is down here, two and a half gallon, a point of use water heater. Uh, it was the most efficient and compact uh, that we could find. Uh, lots of space in here. These drawers go back about a foot and uh, gives you uh, pretty much everything we need in a very, very compact space. This is a custom cooktop made by Cook Partner from Pocatello, Idaho. Two burners and the gas tank is underneath here. This is a water dispenser. It's by Berkey and uh, we use this instead of reverse osmosis or any other complicated gear we might put under the sink. All of that stuff took up too much space and we figured that uh, this would be the most efficient use. So you just fill the top here and the filter uh, processes the water into this lower part. This filter system is so uh, effective that you can, they say that you can put pond water in here and it will be safe to drink. We have both AC and DC power. To get the AC power, that's the kind of the current you have at home, we have the uh, inverter, and here's the, the switch that turns on the inverter. And so anytime we want to use a, an appliance like like this, we just plug in. Uh, in a rig like this, it's important to have both AC and DC. We have solar power and we have power generated by the alternator back to the battery bank. Again, six AGM batteries means we can go anywhere. So we can have both AC and DC anywhere. The only thing we cannot power in the boondocks is the big air conditioner. That we need to plug into shore power, but otherwise, uh, we're totally, totally self-contained here. This is a fantastic fan. It uh, shuts off automatically when it rains, and then when it stops raining, it turns back on. So that's kind of cool. Here's the bed when it's folded out. It's almost a full-size bed. It's six feet long, and it's quite cozy in here. It's like a little nest. And we have access, as you can see, just direct access to the toilet in the rear. Just step off the bed and there you are at the toilet. And the dog sleeps under here. The floor covering is industrial grade rubber in a vintage style. What we have here is um, our bureau for clothing. Lots of space here. This is modular so it can be taken apart or taken off when we need to work on the electrical panel. Here's our garage. 
And underneath here are six AGM batteries. That's our battery bank. You see right next to it, we have all our electronics, our inverter, also connections to the alternator for fast charges, also our solar panel and gauges for the tanks. Jill really wanted a toilet in this van. I didn't think we could put one in because it's such a small van. We can't put a shower in. It's just don't have the space, but we did have enough space for a toilet. So we have custom tanks under here for white water, for black water, and gray water up front. Dave Barrett of Plasma Tech made custom tanks to fit in the space that used to hold the spare tire. The tanks are coated with a ceramic base insulation. You can see that this is really easy access, which is really important, not for sitting on the toilet, <laughs> but, but it's, it, it, it's good for getting into our uh, bureau here. This is where all our clothes are, and um, lots of space here in this very tiny little bureau, it's really handy. Also, we have overhead lights here, which are really handy. And you see we have a grill here for our equipment. And this really keeps all our equipment steady. This, by the way, is the vent for the black water. That, that keeps the smell out of the van and vents it up to the roof. This is a towel rack. And right up here is uh, cargo. We uh, carry extra stuff up here like TP and also dog biscuits. We made sure to put every convenience we could in our console and so what we have here is um, some floor lights this is overhead lights this is fog lights USB ports this is a USB attachment for our radio so it can play all kinds of mp3s and great albums. This is a reading light. And what we have over here is our iPhone holder and it's great for GPS and hands-free calling. And we have a USB port down here to keep it charged. The switch on the left is a really cool feature. It attaches the alternator to the rear battery bank for a quick charge, but it also allows us to start the car with the rear batteries if the regular battery, the starter battery, ever goes dead. The center console between the two seats has a space for a little garbage pail, also a slot for maps. It also has a great junk drawer because we need that. And a tray on top for miscellaneous and on the back side a little space for books. Other features include an all-weather awning, an undercarriage storage bin, and custom upholstery. There you have it, our ultra compact, super custom camper van. Cleo and I are going on a 30 state tour. We hope to see you perhaps in a city near you. Jill will join us later. My name is Ron, Jill is my partner. You can find us at houselove.org. Good luck with your project. It. It's a wonderful world. <laughs> I've got more than my share. Baby, I must be lucky through and through. It's a wonderful world. Loving, wonderful you.